Hello and welcome to the Skyway Web Video Quick Start Guide to Skyway Builder and using the Spring MDC scaffolding. Today we're going to create a fully functional Spring Source Certified Java Web Application using Skyway Builder 6.1 Community Edition. We'll be using Skyway's scaffolding capabilities to build this app. Within a matter of minutes, a Java dynamic web project will be generated that includes a DAO, finder methods in the DAO based on each domain object's field, a service with CRUD operations, a controller with CRUD operations, all of the necessary Spring annotations and config files for a Spring MVC app, CRUD JSP pages with CSS and JavaScript, JUnits for every service and controller, Spring source certified code and config files, generated code that follows Spring recipes, generated code that looks like you would code it, a modeling project that you can continue to use to enhance and generate more functionality in the web application, and a dynamic web Java project which is separated from the modeling project so experienced developers can hand code the rest of the application if they don't want to stay in the modeling environment. Before we start, you'll need to have a server and a database already set up. If you need to set up this sandbox environment, head over to the Getting Started section on our community website, www.skywayperspectives.org, and read through the Setup Sandbox Guide. Using the Sandbox Setup Guide, you'll need to set up your data connection, giving it the name Booking Database. Now that you have your server and data connection configured, let's get started. We'll create a new Skyway project by clicking on the new Skyway project icon on the toolbar. Give it the name Skyway Hotels and click Finish. Notice that there have been two projects created for us. A Skyway Hotels modeling project and a Skyway Hotels dash web, the standard Java web dynamic project. Now we'll create a new data type that will be utilized by the scaffolding to generate the rest of the application. Right click on the Skyway Hotels modeling project, select new, data type. We'll name it preferred guest and click finish. Now we'll define the data type by adding a few fields as follows. We have username of the text type set as the primary key. We also have credit card expiry month which will be set to the integer type credit card expiry year also set to the integer type credit card which will be set to the text type credit card name again set to the text type and smoking set to the boolean type. Once you have all the fields entered as you see here, save the data type by clicking on the save button on the toolbar or pressing Control S on the keyboard. With the data type defined, we can now generate all the necessary Java and Spring code and config files to support the create, read, update, and delete functions for the preferred guest domain model. Right click on the preferred guest data type, select scaffolding, generate CRUD. Once the scaffolding completes the generation process, the last thing we need to do is configure the database connection in the DAO. Double click on the preferred guest DAO under the Skyway Hotels modeling project. Select the database configuration tab and select the booking database connection. Once you've set the connection, save the DAO. Now the Skyway Hotels dash web project is ready to be run on the server. To do so, right click on the Skyway Hotels dash web project, select run as, run on server. Using all the default options, proceed through the publishing process. Once the app is published, the web browser window will open displaying a 404 error. Don't worry, this is what we're expecting. In the web browser, navigate to http colon forward slash forward slash localhost colon 8080 forward slash Skyway Hotels dash web forward slash index preferred guest dot html. And as you can see, you'll be presented with the link to create a new preferred guest, as well as a list of all existing guests, um, which should be empty. 
and go ahead and create a new preferred guest. Enter in any data that conforms to our types in our data type. and click Save. Once you've saved the entry, you can either edit or delete it, or to view a list of all entries, click on the Preferred Guest link at the top of the page. And that's as simple as it gets for generating a fully functional Spring Source certified Java web application using Skyway Builder 6.1 Community Edition. Thanks again for watching, and this has been James Pearl with Skyway Software. <laughs>